what's going on guys back with another video today we're going to be doing a little do-it-yourself project for a turtle tank we're going to need a plastic plastic bin some sand filter uh some decorations and i'm gonna add a little bit of plants so let's get to it guys all right the first thing we're gonna do is so <clears throat> since i'm gonna have it outside I'm going to cut a piece right here. That way sunlight can come up to the top. And then I'm going to add some mesh to it. That way no predators can get it to the turtle. So I'm going to get some scissors. Cut this top. I'm also leaving this top on that way when I fill it up it won't bowl and it serves like a bracket make sure you have some good scissors or a knife pretty sharp knife because it's pretty hard Prettiest, but this will do. You also want to make sure you cut, uh, if you're putting the lid on, you're going to cut some little cuts in the edges. That way, your ex extends your airline can pass through, and then uh, if you put a heater, it can pass through it too. For now, I'm just gonna drill some holes on top so I can zip tie the mesh. create uh, all-purpose sand pour some water and then dirty it is we got to keep doing it until the water is clear As you can see, the water is not that 
murky no more so we're gonna stop right there all right once we have our substrate ready we're gonna clean this from all the debris Pour the sand in. Okay, now that we have our substrate in here, we're gonna kind of fix it around. And then we'll start putting our decorations in. And that will determine how high I want the water. And then I'm gonna drill some holes that way when it rains, it won't overflow and lose the turtle or fishes or anything like that. So let me just kind of straighten this out and bring the decorations. So I'm gonna be using this, some slate stones. Driftwood and some plants. Okay, and since the wood is not waterlogged, I'm gonna have to add a stone in the back that way it don't flow. They don't float up. Hopefully this bamboo stick stays right there. A few rocks on the side. Got some moss ball. I cut it and uh, this will give it extra hiding spots for the turtle. was a creeping jenny okay these plants i had them on my 75 gallon tank but my parrot fish keeps messing with them so I'm just going to put them out here see if they survive and there's some of the dead plants too fancy okay now I'm bringing the sponge filter
ਜੀ ਮੈਂ ਸਮ ਹੋਨ ਵਰਡ ਥਿਸ ਵਿਲ ਗਰੋ ਲਾਈਕ ਕ੍ਰੇਜ਼ੀ Now we can start adding some water to it. And then we'll use some prime to dechlorinate the water. some dechloronizer it's called should be enough okay now to connect the air pump and the heater because at night it gets pretty cold out here There we go. And we're going to be adding my Mississippi map turtle. But once it gets bigger, I'll have a bigger stack stock tank, so here it is, pretty puny right now. Also have a little crab, a uh, shrimp, and the uh, minnow that I'm gonna be adding with him. I have to temperature acclimate this one because the water is slightly colder. Okay guys, so there it is. Here's my little setup. All finished. I had to put a few zip ties on the edges because it would uh when it would ball out the top would come out. And then I drilled some holes right here on the sides. That way when it if it rains it'll overflow. It won't overflow. 
And then I had to leave this base open just because uh, if I want to give some maintenance to the little bin or whatever. But yeah, guys, this was a pretty cheap setup. I'll leave a link to the things that I bought in the description. The plastic bin was around $7, so the other stuff were pretty much inexpensive. Just never keep your turtles in these little containers. They're pretty much unhappy in this stuff. So... I hope you guys enjoy this video, like and subscribe.